Next man on stage, Mr. Gordon Ramsay. After that, we've got the stars of Ten's runaway hit, Master Chef Australia. I have got one of the stars to my left, Mr. Hey, Gary Megan. Hey, Alistair, how are you going? All right. Not too much. Are having fun this year? Oh, having enormous fun. George and I have done a really good job, I reckon. We've been packing that place out. Are yeah. we beating Gordon? Are we beating Gordon? I think maybe just shading it. Oh, God, he's standing right behind us. Yeah, he's a big bloke, isn't he? You don't want to upset him. <laughs> no, look, it's been going really well. We tried to put a bit of fun in it. We're doing Losing Your Marbles as a theme, which is based on the Elgin Marbles, that, of course, that are in the British Museum, that should be repatriated to Greece. But well, we're not giving them back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so, uh, English food uh, versus Greek food. Yeah, and look, the whole thing is to have a little bit of fun. I mean, everybody yeah. thinks that English food is stodgy, you know, bangers and mash and yeah. steak and kidney pie, but it's much, much more than that. A lot of the best cooks, and Gordon Ramsay's one of them, are coming out of the UK. I came out of the UK. Yeah. You come out of the UK? Hang no, it's bit. Ireland, isn't it? Did you? <laughs> so, you know, and to me, it doesn't mean all that stodgy food. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of influences from all over the world. Curry, in fact, is the most popular popular food in England, you know? So we've got all of that colonial sort of stuff to, to draw upon. Plus, we've got those beautiful summer English gardens full of fruits and full of herbs. And, yeah, come on. Gary Megan, different. Gary Megan, you're putting in 80 hours a week uh, on MasterChef yeah. Australia. It's yeah. a real privilege to have you here. Thanks very much. No problem. I've got to go and do something. Yep.